What's up everyone, it's Goose, and today I spent a lot of money on car repairs. Today we're gonna go over the new JCM 800 2203 model in the Line 6 Helix ecosystem. This has been massively hyped. I saw it all over my YouTube feed, and so I figured let's do the comparison series between this and the Quad Cortex, which also has a 2203. The JCM 800 has always been one of my favorite guitar tones, and since I hadn't really dived into creating a preset around the 2203 in the Quad Cortex, I figured because of the release of the 2203 on Helix that it was a good time to do the comparison and dive into these amps. Before we move on, if you like content on amps, modelers, and stuff for high gain, and other guitar nerd stuff, please consider hitting like and subscribe, it greatly helps out my channel. Originally, the Helix only had the 50 watt 2204, which is also a widely used 800, but the power amp section because of the wattage difference is a little bit different. And when I was younger, the other guitarist in the band I was in actually used a JCM 800 2203. The 2203 is the 100 watt Marshall JCM 800, and my puny little Marshall MG could not keep up with it. So I'm pretty familiar with the tone of that amp. And again, both the QC and the Helix model, the 2203. I say Helix, but really today I'm gonna to be using the HX Stomp XL because that's what I have. The models are the same though. They're universal for all Helix devices. And obviously we'll be using the Quad Cortex as well. As always, we'll be doing this comparison with the same settings. So you get a better picture of how each sound relative to each other. This time there's a bit of an exception. I dialed in the tone on the Quad Cortex first and then with it matched on the Helix, I tried to find a midpoint where both sounded usable because these both actually sound kind of different for some reason. I also had to crank the gain of the Quad Cortex model to 10. It'll be set to 8.5 on the HX Stomp, but this should give you a good kind of representation of how the gain dials differ between the two units. And I guess how much gain on tap there is between the two models. And as usual, because the HX Stomp actually has more settings for the amp than the Quad Cortex, I won't be touching any of those. I'll be leaving those at stock. It's just a more fair comparison this way. The guitar I'm using is a Kiesel solo with DiMarzio Illuminators in the bridge. And the overdrive we'll be using is the Boss ST1 modeled in both the units. IR I'm using is the modern tune mix of the Rock Box by Ownhammer with 2018 Vintage 30s. We'll do unboosted mid gain tones with the volume test, and then we'll also do some high gain tones with the boost. And then I'll give you my thoughts after each. Let's start off with mid gain. <laughs> Thank you. 
right, so my thoughts. Neural is much darker for some reason. Typically, the JCM800 is actually quite a bright amp, and if you crank the master, it can become a very balanced amp. Usually, I push the master to about 4.5, which kind of lets you dial in the treble and presence a little bit better. Kind of a good midpoint, because I tend to crank the treble a little bit just to get a little bit more saturation out of the amp. But throughout the dials on the Neural, it's still a dark amp. That's not necessarily a bad thing. I think if you wanted to blend this with a brighter amp, it would work really well. But it's a JCM800. I wasn't really expecting that going into it. But the HX Stomp model sounds really, really good. The way that the master set up on that amp model, it was just super balanced sounding in my opinion. And being a JCM800, it would cut through a mix really, really well. This is kind of just what you think of when you think Marshall Rock Tone. And kudos to Line 6 because the Helix ecosystem is old compared to the Quad Cortex, and yet I feel like the amp models still compare. For the volume test, I think both models kind of roll down the volume pretty well. Again, one's just warmer than the other, but I think both of them do that pretty well. It's just that the Helix is just kind of meaning the expectation of that like kind of upper mid aggression that marshals typically have for me. Let's move on to high gain. These are the settings for the SD1 that we'll be using in each of the modelers. And yeah, let's go. <laughs> So my thoughts on the high gain, Neural's model is definitely bassier. In the gallop sections of the riff, you really hear that kind of flub come through. However, I think it sounds better boosted. As with a lot of Neural models, I feel like when you get to that high gain metal territory, their amps actually sound pretty good. And if I wasn't trying to match the two amp settings, I could probably get that to be a lot tighter in the low end. I'd probably just put like a low cut somewhere in the chain. I also noticed like the mids aren't quite as present as on the HX Stomp. Again, the JCM800 is supposed to have kind of an upper mid aggression, but since the mids on the Quad Cortex model are actually set to noon, you could probably dial this into your flavor. So yeah, while it's not the most accurate JCM800 that I've kind of tried through a modeler, I still think it sounds good. It just sounds kind of different. It's a different flavor. It might not be what you expect when you think JCM800 or 2203, but I think it's something you can work with and you can definitely use some kind of additional EQ or whatnot to kind of get it to sound to your liking. So yeah, overall the Neural sounds really good. But onto the HX Stomp, I think it actually nails that Bring Me The Horizon kind of sound. And it has enough gain to sound both modern and thrashy at the same time. I've always been a fan of taking a rock amp and then using an overdrive to push it into metal rather than having a metal amp. And on the HX Stomp itself, this might end up being a preset that I just use on the daily. 
And so if you have an HX stomp, really, I would suggest looking into this amplifier. Make sure you have the master set correctly. Otherwise, this can be a very harsh amplifier if you don't have the master set high enough. But once you have that set, the controls do work pretty well. The amp does sound pretty balanced. And coming also from the fractal world, after using a JCM-800 in that unit, uh, the HX stomp absolutely matches it. So despite being a cheaper unit, it absolutely compares to the more expensive units that I have. Line 6 has really been swinging for the fences since the 3.5 update. In that update, they had updated the stock cabs, and I think how the amps react to those cabs have kind of carried over from, I think, their metallurgy. Plus, they're still releasing new amp models in this relatively old ecosystem comparative to the other two. And it really cements that Line 6 are committed to their devices. And if they ever release a Helix 2, like, you know it's going to work for a really long time. I think everyone should definitely have their eyes on it. Line 6 used to get a bad rap for the spiders and stuff, but like, I think that these ant models are actually just really, really good. But yeah, what did you think about the ant models? Let me know down in the comments below. Anyway, that's going to do it for me. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you all in the next one. Later!